Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hungry People Podcast. My name is Michael Patrick Buckley, and I'm here with co-host AJ Dyka. This is episode one, the introduction to Hungry People. AJ, thank you for being here. Let's get this thing rolling, baby. MP, man, I'm so excited for us to get started. So for those of you who don't know me already, my name is Andre Joseph Dyka. People just call me AJ. I am 29 years old. I was born in New Jersey. I was actually born in Camden and I was raised in Maple Shade. I was a track and field and cross country varsity runner. And I've moved around a bit since I've graduated. I've been into health and nutrition the last eight years and been vegan since February 8th of 2014. We have a lot of experiences to share, a lot of discussions to create, and we just see that there's so many things that are being pushed that we disagree with. And we want to tell you what, why, and like what our thoughts are to create discussions so that people aren't trapped into this dogmatic um, thought process. For sure. So MP, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Thanks for that, AJ. Um, that was, that was phenomenal. Uh, my name is Michael Patrick Buckley. Uh, you can call me MP or Brew Brew as a, as a nickname. Uh, I'm 20, I'm 26 years old, not 29, age is 29. I'm 26. I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, born and raised uh, in a little town called Lincoln Place. I went to Pittsburgh Central Catholic High School. Uh, I played uh, baseball, basketball, and football my freshman year, baseball and basketball my sophomore year. And then uh, I ended up playing baseball the next two years. And that allowed me to um, play baseball in college too. I went to Seton Hill University. And I majored in accounting and I actually have a math minor. And then I actually got my master's in management at Seton Hill. Crazy story. Actually, I broke my jaw my freshman year and uh, I had a redshirt year. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, I've been, I've been super into my health, super into fitness uh, ever since, ever since high school. And um, I actually went vegan January 1st, 2018. Uh, so I've been vegan for about three and a half years. It's nothing, nothing compared to, to AJ right now. What he's done so far is incredible. Uh, and I'm just, I'm really excited to see what he has, has to offer over the next, next couple of years. And um, yeah, and I've been, uh, I've been into raw veganism. I, I don't want to say vegetarianism, but raw veganism uh, for about three years. And it's actually, it's actually crazy that it's been, it's been three years since that. Um, but anyways, I am, I'm really excited for these discussions and to, um, and just to talk with AJ, AJ has a lot of knowledge on these, on these topics and he has a lot of experiences too. Um, and I do, I do believe that our discussions and, uh, I believe that the people that we do bring on the podcast can offer a lot to a lot of people. And, uh, and we're both just super, super excited and we, we've been antsy to get this going. So, um, AJ. Super excited. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll and living the dream. Right. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thanks for that, MP. Uh, yeah, no problem. I think that what me and MP bring is so special because <clears throat> we have such an interesting dynamic. You know, I think he has the really intense energy and excitement and passion and go getting this. <laughs> and I have my own uh, perception of what I bring. So I'm actually going to read to you guys the mission behind Hungry People. The mission of Hungry People is to entertain, educate, and share and connect with individuals and groups who are eager, passionate, and hungry to better themselves and enrich the lives of those around them. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to be fitting into like a vegan box or a raw box or like put ourselves in a certain kind of paradigm. We're really open to just people who are looking to enrich their own lives and the lives of other people through sure. information, through practice, through diligence, through <clears throat> consistency sure. and through knowledge. Mm -hmm. And while we bring this to you, we're also going to be learning as well. And we want to create discussion so that there's a community of people who are eager and hungry to just be better. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. And going along with that, um, we really want to inspire people to, to care about their health uh, in my opinion, your health is all you have. You know, if you're, if you're in bed all day and you can't move, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's not something that you, that you want to de have to deal with. Um, I, uh, we, we, we want to get into talking about some eating disorders. Uh, I do feel like a lot of people push, uh, certain ways of eating that aren't sustainable and can create disordered eating. And AJ and I want to bring that to light and talk about that. 
Um, one of the one of the things with AJ and I is that we're here living our everyday day to day lives, and we just we want to bring our life to this podcast. You know, we we want to share our experiences with everybody, just just to help them with their day to day lives. You know, and I and I do believe that um, that our passion and that our just our love and our and our fight for all of this is. I, I do believe that we can, we, we can inspire some people to really change, change their habits, you know, and change how they go about their life. So, um, and also with that, we, uh, we do want to bring some, uh, some people onto our podcast. Hopefully maybe we'll get some doctors on here, um, to some other, other influential people in the, the raw vegan and vegan community. Um, some people in the fitness community, um, even people who maybe were vegan, but now they went back to eating meat. You know, or maybe even people who just, just whatever, it doesn't matter, yeah. you know? Yeah, we're, we're not limiting to one category. We right. want to really dive into all topics because mm-hmm. we think people should have a wide range of knowledge. For sure. And I think too, is that I think, I think a lot of people are, are very ignorant to what's out there. And we are, we are very open and authentic with our experiences and we're open to learning. Um, and I do think that a lot of people who aren't necessarily vegan can offer so much to, to, uh, to our lives. And I think it's important to listen and to hear what they have to say and offer, you know, because there's just so many ways to look at, to look at health and to look at eating and to look at even fitness, you know, there's just, there's so much out there and, um, and we just want to be open to all of it. So yeah, hundred percent. My MP, did you want to re, um, read, I forget what it was, not the mission statement, but the, um, the message the message of the podcast yeah that was basically what that was it yeah that that was basically it right there yeah yeah so um i think just just the idea behind what we want to preach here is that um we want to promote health we want to promote vitality we want to promote vibrant living you know we we want we want to promote consistency sustainability you know we want you to feel good at the end of the day at the end of the day if you're not feeling good you know it's not, that's not good, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, and, and, and on the flip side, if you feel amazing, right. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, we don't, it's not like you have to do what we say or what anyone sure. says. If you feel yeah. amazing, I have nothing to say to you for unless sure. Unless you're just interested in some kind of viewpoint. Right. Know? And actually AJ, thank you for saying that. I, I wanted to say something. We're, we're obviously, we're not, um, they were not doctors, you know, even me, I, I didn't get into school for nutrition. Um, or for whatever, you know, I'm just, I, like I said, I major in accounting, um, but I've just been, I've just been so into this and um, so passionate about it. And I have some experiences that I would love to share. And um, we're not going to be like, oh, saying, oh, you have to do this or you have to do that or recommending anything, you know, like we're just going to share what we have to say. You know, we might give some opinions on certain subjects, but um, right. and, and we'll share what we do and our yeah, reasons sure. why we do it for sure. But yeah, we're not medical doctors. We're not making claims. Yeah. But we have something to say regardless. It's, it's sure. not as though we need to have a doctorate to say, Hmm, I think apples are healthy. I think so. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, um, awesome. Well, without further ado, let's, uh, let's start getting into how AJ and I met and got this ball rolling here. Yeah. Uh, so that's a funny story. So I think, um, I think it was about March of 2020. Yeah. Right. Yeah, when was... COVID, right, uh, can we say COVID or we'll yeah. <laughs> right when, uh, you know, what happened <laughs> and I was spending a lot more time on Instagram. I had just got my own apartment, got a car and everything. And finally was getting my health back together. Mm-hmm. And I was spending a lot of time on Instagram and I was getting a lot, really frustrated with all the people who were, who were talking crap about <laughs> green juice or, or celery or, or whatever things that I've done to feel better. So I was uploading a story on my Instagram saying people need to have more empathy for other people. Everyone thinks they have the answer. You should do this. You should do that. Right. And I was saying like, people need more empathy. They need to empathize <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> So, uh, MP had watched the story. I don't know how he, how he found me, but he had watched it and he started messaging. <clears throat> he started messaging me and talking about it. Cause he was like, yo, I like what this kid has to say. Yeah. Even though I'm older than him, he would call me a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let you take it from there. Yeah. So, um, we both followed each other 
maybe about a month before that. And I don't, I don't know how AJ's story popped up on my page because with Instagram, I feel like uh, the people that you talk to the most, they start popping up in their stories earlier. And I guess for some reason, AJ, he was posting a lot in his story. And um, maybe if he posts a lot, your story uh, shows up earlier. That story so, I posted a bunch. Yeah. yeah so um, I actually remember at the end of this story, AJ said, like, if you watch all this story, you're like, you're a real one, you know? And um, I was just, I was listening. Up. Yeah, for sure. I was listening to everything AJ was saying. And I was just like, wow, this kid's, this kid's smart. This kid has a lot of knowledge. And, and for me, I like to surround, my, surround myself with knowledgeable people, you know, and passionate people. And I saw that in AJ. Uh, so I just started messaging him saying like, Hey, like, I love what you're talking about here. Um, what's up, you know? Um, so we started talking and messaging about all that kind of stuff. We were talking, we were talking about like digestion, um, empathy. And then we started talking about like raw veganism and we're sending voice messages back and forth. And this was going on for months and we were just sending seven, yeah, eight, nine yeah, voice I would, messages I would, I would come home from work or something and see like 10 messages from MP and be like, <laughs> fuck yeah, like, <laughs> let's dive into this. Right and, right. and we could, one time we were talking and we were just sending memos back and forth, like, like instantaneously as we would listen. And two and a half hours went by. I'm like, we could just talk on the phone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, except you know what? I, I feel like the voice message, the voice There's message something special about it. Yeah, for sure. It's like, you can still talk and be present in your life exactly. but like have a conversation with somebody. And yeah. I, I think that's, I think that's great. And know? I like how they break it up into a minute at a time so that you can kind of know where you left off. Where is we left like a 20 minute voice memo, right? It's kind of like, you're kind of shuffling through it. Right. And you can like, you can answer separately to each voice message. So, so me and him just really started talking a lot through Instagram, a lot of messages, sharing articles, sharing mm -hmm. nutrition info, sharing YouTube videos, really just dive it into each other's minds on how we see health, how we see nutrition and veganism. And um, what ended up happening is I remember I kept saying, dude, we need a podcast. Dude, <laughs> dude we, we are more passionate than 99% of people that I talk to. More, pe <clears throat> more than 99% of Woodstock, more than 99% of the carved up people, 80, 10, tenors, carnivores, vegans, like right. no one right. can hold a discussion anymore. Right. I don't know if it's all the ADD. I don't know if it's everyone just feels terrible, but there's something special about the way we would conversate. And I was like, dude, we need a podcast. And I remember you being like, mm, I don't know. Like, like, you were weary. You were, you weren't into it right away. So, uh, so what ended up happening, and if I skip too far, just uh, cut me off, but Woodstock Fruit Festival, which I I've been going to, was canceled. And there was something called the Pranic Festival. And I wanted people to come and stay with me both before and after so that we can really just have some special quality time together with people who are like-minded and interested in similar things, health and fruits and vegetables and whatnot, just being kind mm -hmm. to each other. And, um, <laughs> and listening too. You yeah, know, and having that having that open space to hear what people have to say, yeah, you know, and, and being, being authentic. able to disagree. Yeah, exactly. Twenty twenty one. I know it's not uh, approved of anymore. And that's the thing with AJ and I is that we do disagree on on oh, a God. lot. So you know? much. Yeah, but we're adults. So, right. So I invited MP, and I invited uh, I think it was eleven other people that ended up either staying before and or after the mm -hmm. festival. So I had like two or three people at my house before. We went to the festival, it was three days. And then afterwards I had 11 people stay with me. And at the time, one of those people was Michael Patrick, but the other one was Jenna. And he, Jenna, MP and I all have a similar mindset where we talk about like, everyone is hungry. Everyone is not eating. Everyone is fasting for health or starving for health, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. they're limiting to mono meals only or they're only eating a certain way or a certain time. And there's a lot of restriction and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like eating disorders around that type of mentality. And I'm going to, I'm going to let you take over in a second, but I just wanted to say that when I started talking with Jenna in person, cause I hadn't talked with her that much before I wanted to create a group chat with, mm -hmm. with us three. And I ended up just coming up with the name hungry people because we all, we all actually eat. 
<laughs> and then there's been a lot of discussion in that group. And I just, that name just rang so true for, for what MP and I want to do mm-hmm. with the whole, uh, with coaching for me personally coaching, but for also just the podcast and the message of our group. So right. if you want right. to take over from there. Right. So, I mean, not only are we hungry, like to eat food, we're also right. hungry for life. You know, we're, we had that passion. We have the desire to, to be better and to grow and to ultimately become the best version of ourselves. Um, and that's, that's really what hunger people is going to be about, uh, just building better people, uh, so that, so that they can influence other people as well, you know? Um, but yeah, AJ, what you said there was perfect. Um, that's actually what I wanted to talk about too, was meeting you at Pranic. And um, yeah, I actually- dive, in, dive into that. Tell, tell me yeah, about it. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> I ended up driving up there at like 11 at night and um, I actually got a speeding ticket on the way up, which is very unfortunate, <laughs> um, but it is what it is, you know? So we, I get to the festival, I guess, I guess you can call it a festival. Um, mm-hmm. A gathering. I got there at like 4 a.m. Got like three hours of sleep. My buddy, uh, Leo, yeah, I was like, I was like, man, I hope he's safe because I know he's like <laughs> passing out at the wheel. The right. Yeah. Right. I mean, I was carved up, so we're all good now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. but I, my buddy Leo, uh, for those of you who don't know, Leo, um, fruit pull ups, he's actually been vegetarian, I think, since 15. He's 37 now. Uh, 38. Sorry, Leo, if you listen to this, um, if I got your age wrong, but I think he's been vegan for, I don't I mean, for a while. I, I, I can't talk for him. It might be 10 years, five years. I'm not sure, but it's been, it's been a while. Um, Leo's a good dude. Yeah. And we actually do would, would love to have Leo on the podcast uh, just because his, his ideas and his views on life are just so interesting and intriguing. It's, it'd be awesome to share that with other people. Um, but Leo was up and I, I met him finally, it took forever to get there. So I was like all these back roads, whatever. Um, and we ended up like just hanging out by this fire for a little bit. And then we went to bed, um, got like three hours of sleep, got up. And it's, it's kind of funny because I felt weary about being there because you had to pay to be there, you know? And I was like, I I didn't pay anything. And I was like, come on, like, this is like, I, I do, I do feel weird, even though it was the last day of the festival of the gathering, um, so I'm, I'm hanging out with everybody. We're, we're eating some fruit, you know, talking, um, well, well, let's back up to when we actually first met in person. Oh yeah. You so, just like... I, so it was like, um, I don't know, like seven or eight in the morning mm-hmm. and we'd only ever spoken on FaceTime or, right. or Instagram or the phone. And I remember I was coming out after, uh, getting a shower and I was going <laughs> into my car to get some to clothes. <laughs> And it's funny because we talk about like disordered eating and all these things. And one of the main struggles that I had, especially back when was my weight. So I I didn't even have like a shirt on or anything. And I I see MP and I'm like, (laughs) in my head, I'm like, Oh fuck. So skinny. (laughs) So like, uh, you know, we just said, what's up. And uh, we gave each other a hug and we talked a little bit and I was like, I got, I got to get changed and stuff. Right. But later on, I asked him, I was like, you know, what did you think when you first met me? And, and you said something like, this guy has no confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I, <laughs> I just had uh, sex the night before, so I should have been full of confidence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, did I say you had no oh, and, confidence? And that or, morning, too. Or, or, or should I have said... <laughs> should, narc, should I have said... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should have said that you didn't seem as confident. Maybe that's what it was. But I do remember. I, don't I remember. Did, I did mention your confidence. That I do remember that. Yeah, because my um, I was kind of like yeah, huddled you, down because right, I was like, right, all right, I'm right. Like skinny and right. You know, this the right. first, like first impressions type of thing. Right. When I should have been <laughs> fucking like a rooster. Yeah, chest up, walking like you just like you own the world for sure. Right. So it, so it wasn't the best ever introduction, but look, right. here we are, and we're killing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but hey it, it was what it was and it worked out perfectly you know yeah. um i feel like that, that's 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 how a lot and it was actually cut short so i'm gonna let you finish what you were saying but yeah yeah yeah. i actually had to i was supposed to leave that night and ended up staying with a woman and then i stayed till the morning and i had to head out for work so mm-hmm. me and you had an intro to each mm-hmm. other but i had to leave right away because i had to right. go to work right so right. now i'll let you take it from there because yeah, now so... you're talking about having meals and talk with other people. Yeah. So I was just getting to know everyone and meeting new people and we were eating some food. Um, and then that, that, that passed by a couple hours. Um, and there was some guy there who I guess ran the gathering, ran the festival. 
And he came up to me and he's like, Hey, uh, who are you? And I'm like, Oh, I'm like a Patrick Buckley. Who are you? And whatever his name is. Um, and he's like, Oh, did you like, did you pay for the festival? And I'm like, no, I didn't. He's like, all right, well, it's $20. If you want to, if you want to pay, I'm like, okay. I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm not paying. Sorry. And, um, he's like, all right, well, I'm going to I'm gonna ha- I have to ask you to leave. I'm like, I, I'm like, I was like, I was very mature about it. I said, Hey, I said, Hey, I get it. You know, I'll leave. Um, not an issue at all. <clears throat> and, um, a bunch of, it was actually really great because a few people who were there actually stuck up for me and, yeah, and they were the like, crew jumped in. yeah, everyone was like, Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, what do you, what do you mean, dude? Like you're, you're kicking them out. And I was like, it's, it's fine. Actually my friend Leo like got in this guy's face and was like, I've been busting my ass this whole time and you're going to kick my friend out, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, Leo le- was legit working like three people. Like, right. He was, he was right. doing so much. Right. Um, but once again, like I totally understood. Um, I, uh, I probably should have, should have paid, should have paid something, you know, even, even though I was only there for five hours, um, and didn't eat any of their food, but w- whatever it's, I, I, I understood, I got it. Um, but it, it was, it was just really cool to like, I felt like I had that family around me, you know, sticking up for me. And I actually lost right. a lot of respect for that guy. I don't even, I've never even met the guy and I have no respect for him. That's um, the thing. Like he ended up really screwing himself because right. you know, no one respects him. Yeah. So, um, I, I, but, I just, but it's cool. Cause you got to see people you don't even really know all right. And you already, right, right, right. Which is pretty badass. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Um, and I definitely think he could have approached me a lot differently, you know, but Hey, it is what it is. And we're all here for the learning experience. Yeah. So, so I end up, I, I I'm getting off work and Michael Patrick calls me because I'm having him and the other people I mentioned come and stay with me. <laughs> so he's like, he calls me. I'm like, Hey, like I'm like an hour away. He's like, well, I'm almost there to your house. I'm like, why? And he's like, I just got kicked out of the festival. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> dude's too carved up for everybody there. guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we actually had a great time, uh, together and, uh, the next couple, next couple of days there, I think we were for maybe a week. Yeah. So you were the uh, first one, I think that got to my house. Yeah. And then and, we had our friends, Ali, Nicole, we had uh Rumsey for a day. We had peaceful Steve. Who else did we have? Anastina was there. Frank, Frank come over. Frank stopped by. Yeah. Um, who else was there? There was, there was 11 total. Uh, Jenna, mean, Jenna was one of them. Oh, uh, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle came. came. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a really nice time because I think that my favorite part was since everyone was, um, there were so many people there, it took pressure off for one person to have to entertain. Mm -hmm. So everyone could kind of do their own thing. I know you were going to the gym. If I Mm -hmm. needed to leave, I'd go to the store or go to work and everyone could just, I could trust everyone with my place. Yeah, for sure. And some people wanted to stay up. Some people went to sleep early in their cars or in tents. And we just really got personal. We really got to be able to share like mm-hmm. a little bit of our insecurities, a little bit of our excitements and challenges. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's so important for us to be able to share uh, not only our, our goals, but our obstacles, because right. then it really becomes real and right. people can relate to that. Right. And AJ, that's even something that we're going to bring to the table here. Like we do want to be open and authentic about our insecurities and right. some some issues that we deal with on a day-to-day basis, you know, that, and hopefully that'll open other people to share their experience as well. Um, yeah. I wouldn't want to pin it, paint a picture. Like we've made it like, right. Yeah. We're, we are, we're still working. Yeah. We're, we're perfect. Still working on ourselves. Right. Our health is perfect. You know, we don't have any issues. Sure. No, like, but we have I, something to say, even though it's not perfect, we have right, stuff to say right. that I think is insanely valuable to people. Right. And the thing is too, is like, I don't care who you are. You know, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how big your house is. I don't care how many cars you have. I don't care who you are. Like I said, you're, you're dealing with something, you know, there's, there's some deep issue that you're dealing with and that you can't get over, you know? And that's okay. Um, and that's yeah, for sure. Thing. It's, it's like, awesome. Yeah. It's not awesome, but like, <laughs> it it's is awesome what it is. You suffer. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but my, my point here <laughs> is that like, everyone has an issue, whether mm-hmm. it's their girlfriend, whether it's their boyfriend, whether it's, maybe it is their health, you know, maybe it's, Maybe it is their digestion. Maybe it's how they look. Maybe it's their their face. Maybe it's their hair. Wh- whatever it is, we all have insecurities. Sure. We all have. Um, there's there's all stuff that we that we want to get off our chest and talk to people about. You know. And what and what's amazing about hungry people is we're going to be bringing so much to the podcast that it may be able to 
help or solve your problem. Mm-hmm, and what I mean sure. by that is your problems can, you've been probably struggling with them for a while. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is there's somebody out there in the world that has either had it or, or knows about it and can help you solve it. Right. Whether it be sure. financial, whether it be some health thing or fitness thing, there's so many, there's so many answers out there. And the more mm-hmm. that we all share and talk and connect, the more info we can have and bring that to address the problem instead mm-hmm. of doing the same thing over and over again. Totally. Totally. Um, what was I going to say here? Uh, oh yeah. So what I want to say was Jenna, AJ and I, um, in our, in our little group chat that we have, we, we have created so many great discussions and even AJ myself, and I'm sure Jenna and AJ himself, and even Jenna and myself are, are we have just created, like I said, phenomenal discussion. And every time I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, we, we got to get this on, on podcast. We got to like, we got to like, get people to hear this, you know, just because AJ and I, at least in our opinions, we feel like the information we talk about and um, the discussions we have are, are so valuable. And we do feel like they can, they can be of, um, of, of use to a lot of people. So right. um, yeah, at Woodstock, uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed was my conversations with tons of people and I remember one specifically, this guy, his name is Benjamin, me and him were talking by this sugarcane station and I was going off. Like I was, I was like in full mode. <laughs> Typical and AJ. He just kind of was sit back. He was kind of sitting back and listening. And then people just like started like gathering and sitting around and just like started being blown away. And I was just like, okay, I need someone else that can match this energy. <laughs> and if I found that person, we would, we would change, we would disrupt things for sure. And I, and I, and I think that it's that generation now, like it's it's our time to do what the Harleys Mm -hmm. of the world have done, Mm -hmm. you know, five or 10 years ago. Like Mm -hmm. we are going to be that next gen Mm -hmm. of, especially in the vegan and raw community that brings value and info that actually enhances people's lives and doesn't make it to where they're just zombies and following some flat program. Yeah, totally. And thank you for bringing up Harley there, AJ. Um, because AJ and I, we do want to um, talk about some people who are in the vegan community, you know, like, like Harley, Durian Rider, like Freely, I guess you can even say Natasha, you know, um, I know a lot of people talk about John Rose, um, DTM, Lou Corona, right. um, Plant, Plant Proof, who's, he's not really uh, into like raw veganism but he's he's been vegan you know right. um, dr vegan. john mcdougall right mcdo oh my gosh mcdougall dr. Doug lyle like yeah, all the sure. plant-based people alan alan goldhammer jeff novick right. um uh nathan pritikin um who else dr i forget his name he's the gut doctor we got neil bernard we got gregor yeah. we got we got all of them right um, th- some i'm interested way more than others but For sure for sure. All these types of people are going to come up in discussion. Mm-hmm. And not only that, like we said, there's going to be carnivore people. There's going to be yeah, exactly. every, every facet because we right. want to bring a full understanding. Right. And what's interesting is one of the things MP really helped me out with was he was sending me all kinds of info that contradicted what we actually do and believe in. So mm-hmm. it really helped <laughs> it helped my understanding of things of mm-hmm. where I didn't want to stand in ignorant ignorance anymore. Right. Like, okay. This isn't a problem. Okay. Yeah. Right. It probably is. Maybe it won't be, but mm-hmm. we need to look at it. We need to discuss it and acknowledge it for what it is. Exactly. So the, the thing with AJ and I is that we care so much about our, our health and uh, we just want the best for ourselves that we'll do what it takes. And um, I was on YouTube uh, back in, April or whatever. And I'm, and I'm like looking at these videos of like these carnivore people talking about these vegans and all these ex vegans. And all oh, if you look at a vegan, you know, their face is sunken in and their eyes are like this and all this kind of stuff, you know, and I'm sending them to AJ and we're just talking back and forth about it. And, um, and I think like, yeah, you know what, with some people, you can kind of see that with others, they look vibrant and healthy and phenomenal, you know, and, um, and we were just creating such great discussion and, um, uh, we, 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 we want to bring light to a lot of those, a lot of those videos and, and what's actually out there, you yeah, know, we, and we were actually thinking of doing like bringing it up on the screen and actually going through and sharing our thoughts, mm-hmm. not in necessarily like a negative way, like, oh, this person's a jackass, but right. Right. But more right. in a way where it's like, okay, I disagree with this. And I, I, this, yeah. these are my thoughts for sure. And the thing is for us too, is for agent eyes is like, we don't want to be one of those people who are like getting made fun of, 
You know, we don't want to be like, oh, look at look at MP. He's this, he's that. But right. once again, with AJ and I putting ourselves onto out on the internet and out into the world and into this, now we're getting into this podcast stuff. Um, like we're people were if if they do come across our um our platform, you know, they they're gonna they might speak on us, they might, they might have something to say, you know, they're gonna critique us, which is which is like right. which is great, you know, and, and I'm willing to accept what anyone has to say about me, you know, hundred um, percent. And I just, I just wanted to put it out there. Like we're not looking to be any kind of drama channel at all. Yeah, we for sure. want to share our thoughts for sure. So it's for not sure. like we're just going to be um, shitting on people, other people, not at all. Yeah, no, totally. We're not, we're not here to degrade anybody. No. You know, we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I respect either. everybody. Yeah, for sure. And like, like I said, right, right there, we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But like we do hurt your feelings. It's not on purpose, you know, right. it's just our thoughts and personal. opinions, you know, um so so yeah because <sighs> because you have so many people saying this is the only way yeah right this right. is the only way you can only then, heal with juice fasting you can only heal with yeah fruit, you can you, you can know? only heal if you just eat raw brains right? right yeah yeah you have to eat raw meat don't cook your meat like this just oh i think gosh. it's cliche how everyone says you know we're all individuals and just do what's right for you but it's but it's true it's fucking true like yeah you don't know exactly how someone else is thinking, reacting mm -hmm. to to what you would suggest, right. but there's some general principles that I think we most of us can agree with that are mm -hmm. good, safe, um, and actions you can take that will probably benefit you. For sure. If not, back off. Yeah, right. And but, we'll... to, but to think everyone should be doing like an apple cleanse. Yeah. <laughs> it's irresponsible. Or a watermelon fast. <laughs> <laughs> right or an extended water fast of any kind or right. a smoothie fast or juice fast or a mono meal or whatever and these things can definitely have their positives too i'm mm -hmm. gonna i'm gonna highlight both of those yeah. like my father had a stroke and it didn't go to his brain thank god but it went to his face his whole face was swelled up and he was just eating you know terribly he went to the doctor obviously they checked him out it's not like i was giving him any kind of like medical advice don't go to the doctor it's like no go please but when he came back he said it wasn't draining and like a few weeks went by it wasn't draining and i said dad if i was you i would just drink juice and eat fruit to be honest and he did that and after three days he did take a piss that was full of blood but <laughs> when he did that his face completely drained and it went back to normal so that's crazy i think that you know, when you're kind of that, that's my viewpoint for myself. Like I've been left in the dark with no professional help because they say like, we don't know how to help you. And I've had to try to figure things out for myself a little bit mm -hmm. along with learning from some really great people. And I'm not taking their word as medical advice. I'm just looking to better myself and do what I can. What's right. in my power. Right. Yeah. And we'll, we'll dive into a lot of this, um, over the next couple of weeks and months. Sure. Um, but even AJ, I mean, he's, he's been in a state of, of, I, let's even say just disease, you know, uneasiness. Um, and he's used green juice to really bring himself out of it, you know? And, and it's funny. Cause like AJ and I, we do eat a little bit different. Um, and AJ, he, in the, in the past, he has eaten similar to how I eat now, you know, but, um, if he would eat how I would eat now, he just wouldn't, he wouldn't feel good. You know, right. it, it, it doesn't sit well with him. So it's like, why is AJ going to do that? Why, why is he going to hurt himself by eating how I eat? Although I can handle how I eat, you know, but he can't handle how I eat. So, so like, yes, we're the same, but yes, we're different too, you know? And that's yeah. just, that's just where, where it's all about with um, diving into like actually eating how you should be eating for yourself, you know, and, and truly knowing your body. And I think that's 100%. what a lot of it's about is, is knowing yourself. And, and what we're going to get into over the next few episodes is going to be my kind of my story, what I've been through and then MPs as well. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that after we had everyone at the house and you and Jenna had, you know, come really physically into my life, mm -hmm. we created that group chat and we had so many good discussions. Mm -hmm. And then when I brought up the podcast, like after that, you were like, <laughs> yeah, we need to do this. Right. 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 Like for sure. Now, now you were on board. Right. Like, for sure. All right, dude. For sure. And then, but, but that was what September. Yeah, I think so. September, it's, October around that time. Yeah. Like, well, you're at my house in September. Yeah. So yeah. it's like 
November, December, January, February, March, April. <laughs> so you were saying a couple months. It's it, it's we've met each other over a year ago, and it's like nine or ten or even right. in the works. So right. this is episode one. This has had a lot of discussion about when we yeah. start this. <laughs> the fact that we are here is huge. Yeah. And we plan on going full steam ahead. We plan for on sure. really bringing some interesting stuff here. Mm-hmm. So if you, it, it's funny. Thank you guys I, for being a part of this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And uh, if you do listen to this, we just really appreciate you. Um, it's funny because I went to AJ's house January 1st. Well, I was like end of December into the new year. And, it was like the 28th probably. Yeah. And we, uh, we were like, Hey, we're going to start getting the podcast ready, get it going up. You know what I mean? Try to get <laughs> the, up and running the whole purpose of him being there yeah, the was only to reason... really get something rolling. <laughs> Le- legitimately. The only reason why I went to AJ's house was to work on the podcast and just get it going. And I'm not even kidding you. We didn't do a single thing for the podcast. We, we <laughs> delivered food together and we destroyed it. We did, we did it so fast, but we also watched the queen queen's gambit. <laughs> yeah. Um, see, that's the thing with AJ. We guys, watched, that... we watched Dr. Doug Lyle videos. Right. <laughs> we can just, we can just talk and talk for hours, you know, and, um, it like when, 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 when we want to get stuff done, we really got to put our focus to it or else we'll just keep talking. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, with that, um, I think we want to wrap things up here. Uh, AJ, if you wanted to talk about the goals for the podcast and I mean, we, I, I can share myself, but, um, yeah, I'll do a little, I'll do a little outro. Yeah, for sure. So you guys have a pretty good understanding about what this podcast is going to be about. It's going to be about our experiences. Mm-hmm. It's going to be about nutrition talk. It's going to be about fitness, longevity, sure. health, financial health. I think mm-hmm. that is something that's really becoming more and more important to me relationships so can, relationships yeah. like what a, what we think is a healthy relationship mm-hmm. both romantic and friendships and family mm-hmm. we're going to discuss have discussions like that with dr doug lyle someone who's a, a medical prof- um, he is a psychological professional mm-hmm. when it comes to relationships we're going to bring a lot of different avenues to overall bettering yourself mm-hmm. so i think that if you guys are interested, stay tuned because there's going to be some really cool stuff. And what we're going to be doing is interviewing the people and asking them the questions we want to know. So it's right. not like we're just doing it so we can get these popular people on. We yeah. have we have questions that we see all of the time that never get answered. And we're going exactly. to be asking them that. Right. Right. The, yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of answers that are out there in the, in the wind. You it's know, not just going to be like, what do you think about B12 MP? Yeah. <laughs> should, should vegans take B12? What about vitamin D3? Oh, are you on a K2 supplement? <laughs> <laughs> like we will discuss these things, but that yeah. stuff is not going to be the focus. The, the right. bigger, broader, important subjects are going to be the focus. Right. For sure. Um, that was phenomenal, AJ. Great job there. Um, now it's your turn. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know how I can top, top what you just said there, but um uh, we definitely want to get our podcast out there. We want to, um, we, we want to grow as much as possible. We want people to hear our message. Um, like we, like we said earlier, we're very confident in what, what we have to say. And, um, we're very confident in the, in the experiences that we have. And, um, it's actually funny because <clears throat> there's a guy that AJ, AJ knows, and he's been in contact with before, um, through DTM, uh, Tavis, Tavis Bradley. And I don't think, I don't think a lot of people know about him and he's been raw vegan for, I don't know, 20 some years, maybe uh, yeah, 25 years or 25 years raw vegan. That's insane. Um, but it's, it's funny because I listened to a, an interview with him in DTM and, and he said that he doesn't want to, she didn't want to share his experience until he had 20 years experience, you know, um, which I think is, is truly incredible, you know? Um, so maybe with ourselves, we, we, uh, we should, we, we will have more experiences to share on even with the next coming months and years. And um, it'll be exciting to look back on all of this and, and even talk about that, you know? Um, but just to reiterate, uh, AJ has been vegan for about seven years and, and he's had a heck, uh, wow, a, a heck of a journey. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited for him to share his story just so you guys can hear what he has to say. Um, and, and I've been vegan for close to three and a half years. Um, so, uh, yeah. So like those experiences, it's not 20 years, you know? Um, but we, we do have a lot to say about what's out there. So, um, yeah, 
that's about yeah, all just, I had to just say. Just one last thing. Uh, yeah, for sure. When I stayed with MP at with at his home, <clears throat> at his house, we were talking about when we first started chatting, and mm-hmm. he went he wanted to scroll up and find out when <laughs> we first started chatting, our first messages, and he scrolled for about thirty minutes, and I don't think he even got there. It's like, that's how many voice memos we had. Sold. <laughs> yeah we are we're very passionate so, about so we're stuff. translating that passion yeah. into the podcast we're gonna yeah. be doing less of that on instagram right and focusing it more here for sure and if if you guys if that sounds good to you make sure that you start to follow this and make sure you if you find it interesting or helpful mm-hmm. share it with someone that you think would would enjoy it because mm-hmm. we need everyone's help to to help grow ourselves too we know mm-hmm. it's not like a one or two man team right we really want to build community yeah that's, not that's, in the yeah. see, see i've been to woodstock a couple years now and there's a lot of people who talk about like i'm gonna own a fruit farm or i'm gonna create community <laughs> and no one ever does anything there are people that do it but I just say this for myself because I see that because I've always wanted that. And I really want to create community for myself, but whether it be virtual or in person, I want to create people who are uh, empath- who will empathize with other people and be respectful. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want to argue. I want to actually create real discussion. And I think that when that happens, we can really move mountains mm-hmm. in all areas of our life. Totally. So I think this hungry people, hungry people nation, hungry people podcast, hungry mm-hmm. people on all platforms, we're really going to be able to facilitate that. We're going to be able to not only educate, we're going to be able to learn. We're For not sure. only going to share, we're going to be able to listen. Mm-hmm. And I don't think anyone is doing that on the level that we are planning on doing it. Totally. Awesome, AJ. That was, that was great. That was wonderful. So, um, I don't, I mean, I have a lot more to say, but, um, I think, I think we're going to yeah, yeah. Let's wrap that up. Yeah. I think we're going to wrap it up. So um, once again, everyone, my name is Michael Patrick Buckley. Uh, you can call me MP or Bribru. Uh, that was episode one of the hungry people podcast. And we appreciate you all for listening. Yeah. And again, I am AJ Dipka or AJ, AJ, the killer, the green, <laughs> ju- the green juice man. <laughs> oh yeah. Also I'm the banana bruiser. <laughs> I forgot to the say banana that. Brew brew. <laughs> the banana bruiser but anyways so, thank you everyone stay hungry stay hungry stay blessed and uh always keep it 100 thank you for listening peace